Are you seeing it now, the presentation? Yeah. Okay. It's being a little odd. Yeah, I'll just dive right into it. So um, thanks for coming and listening to the talk. Uh, my name is Jason Neal. I'm a staff software engineer at Rocket Mortgage. And today we're going to try to build a micro front-end architecture in five minutes. And obviously, since I only have a few minutes, I have to make a lot of assumptions. So I'm going to assume you've at least heard of micro front-end and understand those concepts that others have already talked about. Uh, and I'm also obviously going to have to move very fast, but don't worry, all the content and all of this code is thoroughly documented on GitHub. So I'll send the link to that after the talk. Uh, here's a quick glimpse of the architecture for what we are about to build. This is going to be a website for a new up and coming restaurant called NG Grill. Uh, the architecture will consist of a shell, and this is just what's composing everything together into a single cohesive user experience. And it's just a normal Angular application built and deployed like normal. And then the architecture will also include multiple micro front end components. These are going to be full blown Angular applications as well that are simply built and packaged as custom elements using Angular elements. And so let me dive into the terminal first. Let's see. Let me reset what I've got going on here. So first off, there's some stuff I did have to run before the talk. Uh, you'll see here. If you're seeing the terminal, um, I did generate a Angular workspace called ng grill. And then I went ahead and generated four application projects called shell, menu, order, and locations. Um, that takes a while. So I went ahead and did that before the talk. And then the command I just ran, it takes a while. So I went ahead and started it, is just installing a package called ng micro front end. Um, this package is just going to help abstract away a lot of complexity and help simplify the approach. But obviously, you don't have to use this package. I built the package, like full disclosure, uh, but it's entirely optional. You can do all of this natively. I'm just using it because I like it, and it helps me save time, which is especially important when you've only got five minutes. So it's, as this finishes up, um, you'll notice it's doing a lot of work. Like it's got you know schematic support, so it's generating a lot of code for us automatically. Uh, I'm going to add one more application called an email fragment. <laughs> Um, this is just going to be like a smaller micro front end component that we're going to work with. And then inside of our menu component, I'm also going to generate a, a breakfast uh, component, a lunch component, and a dinner component, just so I can show you a little bit more of a complex micro front end application and that has multiple routes within the overall application. All right, that actually all finished a lot quicker than normal. So I think I'm ready to jump into the code. The first thing I need to do is go into the app router module for the menu application. We created those uh, components for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I just need to create those routes. So you can see I've, I've copied and pasted that in here, but this is just creating breakfast, lunch, and dinner routes in that component. And then the only other change I'm really going to make here is to each of the app component template files just to clean it up and get rid of all this boilerplate code. So I'm just going to copy and paste in a couple of things. Again, all this code is documented, and you can see this all after the talk. So the locations component is going to be a little bit more complex because it's going to bring in that emails fragment here um, so that it'll actually have two micro front ends displaying on one page. And then the menu component is the probably most advanced one, it does the same thing. So it also brings in the emails component. Uh, but then it also has these links to that breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, sub routes here, the sub components. Uh, and I think the last micro front end that I need to update the template on is the order, the order micro front end. And then last but not least, I'm going to adjust the shell template just to get rid of some of this boilerplate uh, code that Angular generates just to help you kind of see what's going on here. And so normally at this point, uh, I would run like yarn start or npm start, uh, but that takes a few minutes when you've got five applications that you're running at the same time. So I went ahead and did that beforehand. So let me jump over to that and show you what I've got. So this is our shell app, and it has links to each of the micro front ends. So we've got menu, order, and locations. If I click on order, you see that it lazy loaded all of the content that's required to render that component. So the magic really happens here in the manifest file, which tells the shell the name of the custom element and the, the location of the you know, JavaScript bundles and the style sheets that are needed to render that component properly. Uh, and then it goes and fetches all that information. If I go to a different component, you'll see it lazy loads all of that. And this, in this case, we've loaded two micro front ends, the, the locations component, as well as the emails fragment. 
Uh, and if I clear that and go to the more advanced option, the menu, um, you'll see it didn't reload the, the email stuff. Like it just, it did get the manifest file again, but then it saw that it had already loaded this and it didn't reload it. Uh, but yeah, you can go between breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner and see that <laughs> all of the options work fairly well. So unfortunately, uh, with only five minutes, that's pretty much all the time that I have. So let me get to my last slide. Thank you so much for coming to the talk. If I know this was super fast. So if you have any questions about any of this stuff, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Jason Neal. Um, you'll be able to find the slide and all the code and everything on GitHub at the address you see here. That's github.com slash jtneal slash ng-grill. And thanks again. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.